outside just enjoying the weather today. Um, received it. It's great. I've flown it. Loved it. Um, so the only thing I've got left right now, we've got uh, Fly More Combo coming in and a few extra batteries. I, I've already put it to work. Uh, we've used it pretty hard the last several days and had some really good results from it. Um, my biggest issue right now is taking my drone out of a cardboard box at a shoot. Uh, not to mention there's no way to secure it, so uh, don't have it in here now. Uh, we do have uh, GPC cases on order. Unfortunately, they won't uh, be here till the middle, or they ship the middle or the end of this month, so it'll be a little bit longer. So I needed a quick option to have just something to keep the drone in and keep it safe while we're uh, heading to and from uh, shoots, and then we're out on a shoot to kind of keep the dust and dirt out of it because we work uh, some uh, pretty nasty construction sites. So um, the old cardboard box. Did go to the local discount tool store and pick up a couple of these. Uh, there's actually, uh, they have four different sizes. Uh, this is, they have one smaller than this, um, then this size, this size, and then a jumbo that's even bigger. So uh, I chose these two different sizes to try to kind of mix it up to see what I could do. As, as soon as the GPC cases come in, we'll be putting the drones in those, obviously, and then we'll have to modify these to uh, just who knows what. We'll probably put lenses, batteries, additional support, uh, purchase some new foam, and cut some interesting These stuff are a couple that. of different cases that they sell at the store. We'll give you a closer look. Uh, they call that their 2800 series. Uh, that was $29.95. Here's their 3800 series. That was $39.95, and here's the size of the original box. So, kind of give you an idea, uh, the, the 2800 is pretty close uh, size-wise to the size of the original box. Uh, we were able to cram uh, quite a bit of stuff in, in a pretty ergonomical manner. Uh, we'll spend some more time uh, with it later on. Obviously, the, uh, the GPC, we're really excited to see that and see exactly how they've got that laid out. They show some pretty interesting options in there. Um, they do come with the pluck foam. Uh, I'm sure most of you are familiar with that. Uh, the only problem, it, it's great, allows you to do what you want uh, in square shapes inside the case. Uh, the problem is, and you can see here as we pull this one out, uh, the pluck foam comes apart in places where you don't want it to come apart, as well as the inside of the case as you're putting the drone in, taking it out, the parts, accessories, different things. Um, it, it'll actually come apart on you and, well, you can see it comes apart pretty easy. So then the problem is you have, you, it's not as secure in the case as it used to be. So uh, I've been asking uh, different people uh, their suggestions and options. Uh, Telly Scott, a good friend of mine, actually made a suggestion to uh, spray it with a couple of different products. So yeah, he mentioned the Plasti Dip. Uh, we went to the store, and this is what we came. And actually watched some videos that Plasti Dip uh, was the way to go to secure your um, pluck foam. But I went to the store, and they had options. So figured for the sake of the review or the tutorial or whatever we're calling it now, uh, I would test a couple different products. So uh, the first one is your standard Plasti Dip. I uh, picked it up at the local parts store. Uh, they also had smoke, which I assume is just a different color, but uh, we'll find out. And then uh, it was really expensive, but you know, you've seen it on TV, Flex Seal. So I'll be coating the, uh, the Pluck Foam with all three products and kind of get an idea of what the different ones uh, do and if one's better than another. I did just a uh, quick coat um, of all of them. Uh, this is the smoke colored plastic dip. And if you can see, you can actually still see the uh, where the pluck foam uh, has a rose and stuff. So this is the flex seal. And it really didn't take much. And you can kind of see, uh, of course, the smoke is still, it's just gray. I assumed uh, correctly on that. Um, the flex seal is, it comes out a lot thicker. And literally within a couple of seconds, just a single pass over the foam, it had it completely you can't see the, uh, hardly see the slices in the pluck foam anymore. Uh, and then in the back, we have the regular Plasti Dip Black. Um, I actually coated that really heavily um, to where it was almost running down into the foam. And uh, it uh, kind of had a similar uh, effect, but it's still, you can still see the rows from the foam. So uh, we'll let them dry and then check it out when it's done. So just to give you an idea, this is how we laid out our Mavic Zoom case. Uh, we do have, obviously, the aircraft, the remote, Two batteries in the center port there. We do have the charger, both pieces of it, the uh, main body and the cord, uh, as well as our uh, USB cord uh, to connect to the tablet. Uh, this is a small, uh, we buy the Lexar 633s, part of the reason because we get the USB 2.0 reader from it. Uh, and then this is uh, just uh, the extra props. 
So that's what we've got crammed in that case. Uh, we did do the uh, Pro case a little different. It's the uh, 3800 series case. Um, probably could have fit some more uh, significant stuff in here as well if it would have been a little bit more methodical about how we laid it out. Uh, we still do have the drone, obviously, remote. Put the charger over here. You can see the, uh, the pluck foam came apart. Not really very smooth. Hopefully, uh, in the next phase, we can uh, sort that out. Now we do have our cheap tablet holder waiting on that Mav mount to come in. Uh, the nice thing, even uh, after we coat this, um, I left a little room here. Uh, the Mav mount essentially is going to be a little bit bigger. Uh, it's going to look great in the case, but we can go ahead and alter this uh, afterwards to fit the Mav mount. Uh, on this one, we have three additional batteries. But the nice thing here, iPad Mini. Keep the cable here. So essentially three batteries, everything that we need. Uh, we can grab this case and have absolutely everything we need to go out and go to work. So uh, it'll be a little bit nicer uh, than the uh, than the Zoom case. Uh, I do prefer to fly with an iPad mini uh, over a phone. Uh, this can give you the ability to fly uh, just with your phone as it's set. So a couple of different options there. These are multi-layered. Two pieces of foam here. It does have a solid piece on the bottom and then the uh, cushion piece on the top. So once we cut out our shapes, we went uh, with some spray adhesive in between the layers and uh, made that one solid piece here. So then we'll be uh, putting a coating on that. I'll show you a little bit more about what we do with that just to make sure that we can keep, the, keep it solid once we put the aircraft in and out. It's not uh, continuously falling apart with that plug foam. All right, so we let everything cure overnight. Uh, we did our tests. So the first one, the smoke. I thought I was going to like it more than I did. As you can see, so that's the back side of the foam. Literally all we've done is a light coat on this. And the seams have completely gone away. I mean, you can tell that that foam is not going to fall apart anymore. Uh, the only thing I didn't like, if you can see, you can see more of the texture to it. It did stay gray instead of black. So that's what the uh, Plasti Dip smoke did. The Flex Seal, if you look real close, it actually almost looks like it closes more of a closed cell foam. So the same thing on the back but gives it more more of a smooth appearance there and uh, got a little bit of dirt in this one but this is a plastic dip black it actually looks really smooth so I, I would choose back. one product over another um, I liked the way that uh, the black plastic dip uh, as well as the flex seal both looked on the sample patch so I decided to run one of the final cases in both so uh, this is the black Plasti Dip, and you can see uh, we got it pretty solid here, but just couldn't finish it off. But looks like that's going to hold together really well. We didn't go really heavy with the Flex Seal. You can imagine it almost looks like it uh, went to a closed cell foam. Um, it was more important with this case uh, because you can see we had more of the joints here that were just a single layer of the foam, and those are really, really hard to get to stay together. Uh, in the uh, the pull and pluck foam, so um, we did use the whole can of Flex Seal on this one, and then the whole can of Plasti Dip, the black Plasti Dip on this one. And uh, you can see I went really heavy here. No matter how hard I sprayed that, I just couldn't get that one piece to close in there. So that may still be an issue with that case. I did spray down on the insides uh, as well as across the surface of that. Um, this case here had a couple of, uh, this one was completely broken in two. It looks like that's completely closed up. And then we had a split here as well that was actually opened Here's up. Here's what so. the after for the zoom case looked like. And this is the one I told you would, uh, would have to be flown with your phone. We've got a couple of batteries in here, uh, but we don't have any type of a viewing device. Uh, this is when we used the uh, the uh, Plasti Dip Black. So essentially, we spent twenty nine ninety five on the case. Um, used almost an, a whole can of spray. Uh, you can find that spray. Uh, we purchased ours at AutoZone for nine dollars for the whole can of spray. Here's the finished product for the Pro case. Uh, you can see we've got uh, more more room for batteries. I originally was concerned about these areas that had just a single run of foam. Those seem to fall apart pretty easy. Uh, this is the flex shot that we used here. So $39.95 for the case. Um, and 
I have to go back and look for sure. I believe uh, we spent $19.95 on just on the flex seal itself. Uh, so we've got a little bit more on this case. It's a little bigger. Uh, we've got room for the tablet in here as well. So uh, I did like both the products. Uh, we'll put some wear and tear on both of them and kind of see what they look like. So uh, if you're going to go out and do this uh, setup yourself, uh, Harbor Freight was where we bought the cases locally. Uh, we got the Flex Seal at Ace Hardware. And then we picked up the Plasti Dip at AutoZone. So that's a good way for you to build your own case on a budget until your GPC case is available or uh, whatever else you choose to use. You can tell these are some pretty rugged, heavy-duty cases. Uh, if you've got any more questions about the build, give me a shout, and I'll see if I can't answer any questions help you guys get your own cases up and going.